It was extraordinary. I've never seen anything like that. Even the strongest supporters of Israel in administrations, Republican and Democratic, would at that point say, be proportional and be cautionary. And there was no restraint. Israel now is so empowered because of the administration's enmity with Iran that they now feel uh, clearly that they can do anything. And, and, and Andrea, we're looking at the split screen right now between what was going on, as I said, in what looked like a VIP tent at the Belmont Stakes and yeah. what was happening is over 50 Palestinians were killed. And the, you know the real loser here? The Palestinians are losers. They've had dreadful leadership for decades. We all know that. And it's not just Hamas. It's both branches of the Palestinian government. Abbas is a disgrace by now. So they've been disempowered. But the real loser is one of our strongest allies, never mentioned by anyone, King Abdullah of Jordan who has a majority Palestinian country, who is going to be overwhelmed. The, the Saudi Arabia and, and the UAE, they're not going to care if in this grand scheme of Jared Kushner's, uh, the Palestinians are lost in the shuffle. But King Abdullah will lose his country. He is completely vulnerable and at risk. And the fact is that they are now sort of mouthing generalities in the Sunni Arab Persian Gulf world about the Palestinians whom they don't really care about. But the, those on the front lines really care. Yep. It's just to me appalling that we have no vision at all. We got nothing for it. No pullback on settlements. There's no, no balancing act here. Really? So Richard, where does this leave?